Hey guys, Matt and Special K here from Cinebike. I got Special K over there running the camera for me on the side. So Hi guys. Thank you, K. Also, we got a special guest, Ruffles Ronald Runtley, a.k.a. Big Papa Sniff, is in the house tonight. Yes. There he is. What, what is. up, Big Sniff? So anyway, every once in a while, you get a package in the mail that you're particularly excited about. I know that I'm particularly excited about this. Enough of the fact that I want to share it with you. I finally got some of my studio done, good enough that I can get started filming. So I wanted to go ahead and bust this out. Saved a while for this. And what could it be? What? A lizard running a marathon. Can you see that? Got it. From, you guessed it, Moscow Moto. Yes, sir. So first thing you have, your traditional sales paper. And we got a uh, little instructional sheet here on how to put it together I do believe the Loctite is included and your typical packing slip but first we have a reckless pannier 80 liter and I see we got some molly there Lord knows I love the molly and can you see in there mm -hmm. okay so I went with the 80 liter. The reason why I went with the 80 liter is because, uh, and Moscow Moto to begin with, is that when you're carrying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of camera gear on you, you, you want to have it in the best. And you think hard gear, right? But when you start piling that up, all of a sudden you got the Beverly Hillbillies going down some crazy path, and it, just, it don't work. It don't work. So... Just feeling this, it, it just, it's just quality. I mean, I love it. Here's the other side of the pan here. And again, I, like I said, I went with the 80 because you know it comes with the 22 Stinger. I also got the 40 liter backcountry, which I will be showing you. But you got all your other stuff and then all that gear. Ah, here's something else. There's a, can you see that little strap there? Can you mm, see let that? Let me get in on that. Which strap are you talking about? Go this ahead and point here. to that. Oh, see, there we go. Yep. Can you see that buckle? Yep. There we go. You can see it. So when you open that up, you got a little place to put. Uh, it comes with a dry sack for each side. So you can slide that in there. I highly doubt you can see in that, but I don't know. But you know, you can, you got plenty of room in there. Plenty of room in there. It's just quality. I love that with the Molly that you can put the. Uh, they got a bags that'll attach to it, so you can put your fuel, water. It's just. Very, very smart design. This is the 22 Stinger I was speaking of. Got some uh, aluminum buckles there. So when you open this up, you got a map pocket, clear pocket. I guess you could use it for a map pocket. Down here, you got some mesh vinyl zippered pockets, two different sizes, which is nice. And here's the actual bag, the Stinger 22. Got a separate little pocket here. You got a clear window there for this pocket, for that zipper. Inside. Wow, that was tight. Okay. As you can see, that's, that's spacious. That's going to be plenty of room for whatever crazy gadgets you want to bring. I could imagine protecting a uh, drone in that, in its own little case that was just big enough to put it in. So the reason, another reason why I went with the 80 was because of this cutout. And the reason why they did that was in case if you had like a 690, gotta love it. The gas tank's back there in a very annoying spot. And one of the bad downfalls of it is, is gaskets or yeah gaskets in there mud will fall down inside and when you take the gas cap off and so what they did was they you know added this cutout and so basically you almost should and my buddy Bill does who has a 701 which shares similar shares similar traits you uh, he keeps it on all the time because it, he uses it a because it's smart doesn't take up much room but it keeps its gas tank clean 
Here is one of the 20 liter dry sacks, blue in color, buckles together. You know, I remember the first time I uh, ever saw a Moscow Moto product. It was one of their 25 liter side panniers. And I was in Chantilly at ADV Moto Magazine happen helping them set up their studio, you know, lighting and the camera and et cetera. And in the back, you'll see, if you watch some of the older videos they've posted, you'll, you'll see the bags in the corners. And when I first saw them, I was like, oh, I mean, how, how can't you love them? They're, they're just awesome. There's one of the uh, 80 liter dry bags. It's got a little plastic window. You got your I'm not going to open that. That thing's enormous. So, But yeah, I definitely think I should be able to uh, pack up plenty of camera gear and my everything I would need on a trip in this alone. So it does come with a heat shield. Nice little touch. Can you see that there, Kay? I got it. Uh, it's got the Moscow Moto etched out of it. It's got the little lizard there running away. It also comes with a little uh, Velcro tie-off two-piece thingamajobber. And all the accessories to attach the panniers to the stinger, the, the top bag. And if you can see there, it does inc include the Loctite and the Allen wrench. So, very American. Thank you. Good touch. And this, last but almost not least, is the 40 liter back country. I chose this because of the 30. Like I said, I, I figured I'd you know, be video equipment and stuff. And I just, I don't, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought maybe that would not be enough. <laughs> so I bought this Mastodon. And uh, yeah, let's look at this behemoth. I love the material that they use. I mean, the buckles, everything. I mean, I'm hard on things and I just don't think I can destroy this. I can make it look real, real ugly, but I don't think I could destroy it. Okay, so pocket here, exhibit A, zip the pocket with the mesh. Here we find another delightful map style pocket. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh, that's cool. So, you incorporate both sides of it if you needed. That's actually pretty smart. Here is the bag, the dry bag that comes with that. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think I'm. <laughs> what do you think, Kay? I think you could be able to pack everything you need on my bike, too. Which right. isn't nearly as much as you need, but hey. Yeah, right. Just saying. All right, so uh, check us out. Look, we, we got a place to put some uh, tent right. stakes. Tripod. Tripod. <laughs> yeah, right, tripod. We got some more uh, aluminum style buckles. And then you can get it, this bad boy. Can you see it? I sure can. From both ends. So, it's like Jaws. Yeah, right. Much like being Doo -doo. consumed by a whale. Doo -doo. Whether you want to have a biblical or Moby Dick reference in your mind, like you. That thing is huge. Oh yeah. So put that back in there so don't get confused with all this. Also within here is straps so that if you want to use it as a backpack, that option is there as well. That's an awesome touch. Why don't you unzip that and pull them out? Really? I'm far too late. You want me to do that? Yeah. Right. Pull one out. How about you do that for Pull me? Pull one. We'll compromise. Oh, well, okay. I'm glad I did. I was, wow, look at that. I, I was figuring it was some cheap mesh thin. That's actually uh, some padded, pretty thick, sturdy. Far easier than you suspected, right? Well, well I only know because of my Nomad bag that 
It's yeah. very easy to pop in and out. Yeah, but this is, I mean, I was thinking something very, this is, that makes this bag even more, like, book bag was. That's smart. So, yeah, this is, a, I mean, all this stuff is so versatile. I mean, my God. Talk about that forever. I just love the, the quality of everything. And also, I got two of these patented Moscow branded backcountry cinch straps to oh, a, a, steady. Oh yeah sir. Attach the bike. Attach the bags to the bike. So got two of them. And I'm going to be I went with the Perun rear rack with the uh, expanding rack that you can put on top of that to make it even a little larger. I got that because it was Specifically, it was made to be work with this system perfectly, and to also work with the Touratech rear racks. And I mean, maybe I'm brand loyal, but anything by Touratech, anything by Moscow Moto, I mean, you, you can't get it all. So I will, and also it's armor, right? Right. So there you go. I look forward to. Putting all this on my bike and attaching all of the video gear and I'll guess I'll let you know any of you video guys out there that are interested but chances are I got way more bang than what I for my buck because I mean the price you pay for this I mean it you save up a little bit but I mean my god the, you'll have it forever so thank you uh, thanks for checking in